So I'm just doing a quick unboxing right now of this brand new Samsung Q7 FN 2018 4K HDR TV. And basically this is what's included inside. Inside, well not the sound bar though, but the, this is so like, this is the back part, the arm that goes to the TV. This one goes with this one. This is the base of the TV. And over here we have the one huge connection box, the one connection box, which is huge. I wanna show you some pictures right now. So you guys can have an idea on how different it is from the uh, the KS8000. It's basically almost has almost the same ports, but uh, it's just the size. And the big difference is because this one now carries the power, the energy. So you can only have one cable for everything, right? So that is the huge, the biggest difference between this and the one connection box from the KS8000. Now remember this one, it's only included in this Q7 and the Q9FN. It doesn't come with a Q6 nor the Q8FN. So if you're looking for that, this is the one to get or the Q9FN. Everything else remains pretty much the same. I mean the controller, it is the same basic controller. I like it. I've always said that this is one of my favorite controllers because it has everything that you need at your fingertips. It's good. This is the one connection box cable, very thin. It's gonna go super well with this kind of wall that I have here. So I'm glad that I have that. I still haven't figured out what this is for, but it's for something. I'll figure out later, I guess. Uh, it comes with this little plastic bracket for just in case if you wanna do the wall mount. I probably would, I probably should do the wall mount later on. And of course the power that this is gonna go to the connection box and the batteries. Over here we have some screws for this and that's it. The one connection cable is gonna run through here. Well, that's in case if you wanna use this. This is actually metal, it feels good, it feels solid. This is plastic, plastic. This base right here is also some kind of metal material. But this is good, I mean, look at this. This is nice, high quality. Let's see how it's gonna go, how we, this is going to go because I have my soundbar and I'm gonna put the soundbar in the front. So hopefully this is not too much on the way. So here's the TV, this is the back of the TV. And holy macro, I gotta say this TV is freaking heavy. It is heavier than the Q6FN, that's for sure. So uh, pretty much the one connection is gonna go here and that's it. Over here, I guess we have to remove this. I don't know what's in here, guys. It's just like, oh, okay. So I guess that base is gonna go here. This, I guess this is gonna go here. Yep, just like that. Then we have to screw it in. Oh, shoot. So the one connection box is pretty much this little thing. Oh, I gotta remove this. Yeah. So that's it. This is pretty much the one connection box. That snapped really hard. This is gonna go through here. This little cable management. It's gonna go down here. Well, you know what? I don't even know if this can go through here. Because I noticed that you can also remove this so you can go through here. You see that cable management? And it goes down through here. So I think this is for the wall. I'm thinking. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, so this is like uh, the control. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So this is the power. And this is probably to control channels and volume up and down or maybe the menu oh that's cool my KS doesn't have that it has just one little button and you're so limited maybe I'll try to see how this one works and I'm assuming the speakers are down here somewhere 
<laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't care about the speakers. I have a soundbar for that. Yeah, this is for the air breathing for the bass. Nice, I like this, I like that. And so I decided to use the cable management from the from this base from the arm because I'm going to, I'm not going to use the wall mount right now so I'm assuming that that is what is this for so once you open that see if I can open yeah once you open that then we can close it like this and that's it that way the cable is gonna round it's gonna uh, run from here all the way to the to the metal base yeah that's what this is all right guys this one connection box is freaking long look at this let me show you walking backwards holy shit i already hit the kitchen and it's still going i kid you not this is probably about 15 feet long it's it's long enough it's really long jesus so what this means is that you can put the one connection box anywhere if you don't want it down there the TV you can probably hide it over there behind that or I don't know it just it has enough cable for you to manage this it's very long and this is the other end of the one connection box cable Let's see all right so this is the connector and this is gonna go to the one connection box all right, so this is what happens when you don't read the instructions and you start putting everything together. In order for you to install the base, you're gonna have to uh, screw this. It has the three screws right here. So obviously they go before you run the cable and before you put the other piece right here. So uh, my bad. So this is gonna go through here and that's it. Then we're gonna put this piece right here. Of course the cable is gonna go here. Ah, oh, and there it is, nice and easy. All right, guys. All right, so I have everything connected to the one connection. Huge, huge box. Look at this. So I have the one connector box, of course. The uh, that the black cable, HDMI cable. That one goes to the soundbar, and then my soundbar is gonna go to the Xbox One X. And the other one is for the PlayStation 4 Pro. And over here is for the power, and that's it. You can also connect the LAN cable down there. You guys can see. But this time I'm just gonna use wireless. That's it. All right. So I'm just gonna set this back here for the meantime. Now my soundbar is sitting right here in front of the TV. And the one thing I don't like is this, just the, the cables are over the base. So one positive thing I see about this type of base is that you don't need a, a like a huge furniture or like huge, uh, huge table to set this on. It's pretty much like very, very small actually. You know what, let me measure how long this is. So here it is. It's actually 33 and a half inches long. 33 and a half inches. So that's it, I mean, you don't need a big, table for this and that is the one of the best uh, positive things I see about this other than that I uh, you know the reason the other TVs like the Q6 FN and the Q8 have this legs on each side that is because you can sit a soundbar down there well not this one because this one is actually very big but in this case I can't now the positive thing about this well is is that this TV is meant to be hanging the wall and I'm probably gonna do that in the future, but Jesus. But for right now, I'm just gonna use it like this. Now let me, let's remove all this. You know what? I'm just gonna finish removing this. I wanna set it up and let's see how it runs. All right, guys. So I have finally put everything together, and let me tell you, this TV is impressive. It's beautiful, it has a very beautiful picture quality, very vibrant colors. And I mean, right now I'm just watching uh, over the air program right here. I mean, if you buy one of these TVs, don't expect this 
uh, programs to be in super high quality like in 4k or anything like that this tv obviously will do 4k with regular programs like uh, on netflix you know so if you buy a tv don't expect just to have everything in 4k okay that's a mistake a lot of people make so make sure that you have the netflix uh, at least netflix or maybe uh, amazon prime you know or maybe movies in voodoo that support 4k so for example right here netflix i i uh, type hdr and with hdr you can see all this hdr titles you know all these titles that support hdr and of course they are they are in 4k as well so you have plenty of options right here to you know if you like to look for hdr or 4k titles also there are some titles that are just in 4k they do not support hdr but at least if you have this the program from netflix that support this the the account or the membership you have access to all this and let me tell you guys it looks beautiful 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 now over here we also have you know i also have voodoo for movies just in case if you want to do that or amazon prime that also support hdr and hdr 10 plus all right so let's move on to uh let's go into my settings right now i'm using movie mode every time i play the tv or if i play a program from netflix or from any other program amazon prime or whatever movies you want to do i do movie mode this is the best setting i think all the colors are pretty much very well balanced in movie you'll need to do some changes maybe some modifications oh and also you notice how the menu is black with gray and white i'm going to show you right now how to do that too but these are my my right now my first time trying these settings all right so don't take this as like my final settings uh, but these are the settings that I'm using right now, okay? And like I said, don't use this as my my final settings. Maybe I don't. I'm not gonna keep this. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna change this. Contrast enhancer. I have this one on low. Warm one color tone. I like warm. Color spaces and native. I always recommend native with SDR and auto with HDR because it's just colors are more vibrant in auto unless you calibrate your TV then you're going to go in here and and just change the color space to custom all right other than that I suggest native to leave it with HDR SDR and auto with HDR okay so let me go over here let's go into the uh, sound menu now this is something really cool if you have a soundbar as you guys can see i have this uh the n650 soundbar that i just recently purchased and over here you can also change the sound mode in my case i have the surround but you can change standard or game mode i really like game surround too but when i'm playing my video games i like game there i, I feel like the sound is more precise but uh anyways over here we're going to expert settings we're gonna uh, uh, I want to say thanks to one of the subscribers to mention this he said about the equalizer and woofer controller and yeah it's true this tv has this one you can control the bass and the treble and all these other frequencies and settings that you have honestly i'm not an expert into this but this is really cool that you have the uh, option to change this and if for any reason you messed up you can always press the reset button oh man i wish there was a reset button for everything right if you mess something up boom the reset button all right let's stop dreaming uh let's continue over here hdmi input format i have this one on Beatstream, and then the audio is dolby digital now over here this tv doesn't support dts so if you need dts well you're, you're gonna miss it on this tv it doesn't support only dolby digital not even digital plus well at least not right now all right, and then you have audio delay, sound, sound feedback, and that's it. This is for the audio settings. Let's go into general because this is gonna be very important. Right here into general, you can set up your network. In my case, I'm using, uh, I already have everything set up. Sy system manager, you can change the language and other security smart options and time and timer. Expert device manager, this is the very important one. Let's go over here. I have any Net Plus 
CEC turn on and this is so if you want to control your soundbar with a TV controller so this is very important I have it turned this one on gate mode settings these are grayed out right now because I don't have my Xbox or PlayStation connected so that's why they're all grayed out for the moment HDMI UHD colors this is where you turn on HDR so I have all of them turned on. So you see all four of them support HDR. I just turned them on because I don't know who, which one I'm gonna use next. So I just have them all on. Then over here we have input device manager. This is if you want to connect the Bluetooth device or maybe a keyboard or mouse, whatever. Device uh, connect manager, do 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 love your network, share content with your TV. All right, so that is if you want to connect your tablet or whatever, your smartphone. Then over here, echo solution guys echo solution make sure you turn this one off otherwise your tv is not going to be as bright you're going to be all crying because your tv is not bright it looks like bad so make sure make sure you turn this one off unless you want to have it on and have the tv to control the amb the, the light depending on the ambient uh, light that you have on the room all right also power saving mode i have this one turned on motion light lighting i have this one turned on auto power off i might want to change it to to tab i don't know i'm gonna i have this one off everything is off obviously i don't leave the tv running all day and all night and that's it smart features well you, these are some other options accessibility okay accessibility this is where i want to show you right here high contrast this is where you change this so you can have the menus on, which I, it, it, the, on, on color white, I'm sorry. This is too bright. So I'm gonna change this, of course. I don't want this. I'm gonna have it to black and gray. This is so much better. You know, this is optional. If you guys wanna change that, this is very cool. I changed it and like it like this. All right, and that's it. That's uh, over here support. This is if you want to uh, software update. I have the latest update. And yeah, that's it, guys. So far, I am enjoying this TV like crazy. I love it. I love it. Next video, I'm going to connect it with my Xbox One X. And then on the following video with the PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, I'm going to show you also some of my my settings with HDR, with movies and everything. So this is just like my first setup. The initial I also have over here in the ambient mode, just in case if you guys want to have your TV with an ambient mode, you can have it right here. And that's it. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or what type of, of, of settings you guys wanna see, maybe for gaming, uh, gaming with FreeSync, because this TV also supports FreeSync, Game Motion Plus, we're gonna be testing different games. Let me know if you wanna see a specific game uh, from the Xbox, also on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and uh, let's see what happens, all right? Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm Jolster. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.